Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, I'm going to work on the RAM today. I uh, I'm gonna I decided I'm going to put the TRX wheels on now. Um, my Bora spacers come tomorrow, so I'm going to do this to save time because I work tomorrow. I'm off today. I got more time to do this, so uh, let's use my tire machine in the back. But uh, they're just based on the stock non beadlock wheels. Uh, they're nine inches wide as opposed to eight. So I'm going to mount the rim on the truck without the tire so that you can see the clearance on it. And uh, we'll go from there. I decided that I'm going to put the black, or uh, I'm going to put the white letters in instead, uh, instead of the white letters out. Um, just to change that look a little bit. Here they are. Just on without the tire. And we have plenty of room here. So they will fit without any spacers. Now I'm putting spacers on anyway because I want the wheels flush to this. But I uh, just wanted to show that. I got the front two done. The back two I'm going to do at the same time. Uh, I think I like it a lot better with the black walls out. Yeah, I have to clean them up a little bit. But um, the back I got jacked up. I'm going to do both at the same time. This way I can show you the difference with that tire with the 8 inch wheel and the 9 inch wheel. I'll have to say there's practically no visual difference. So, and it wasn't hard uh, really getting the bead to pop on. So I'll get these back two off and then I'll get one switched out and we can compare it. Here we go with the Comparo. So, um, <clears throat> there really isn't much difference here. See about the same amount of... This might be a little deeper than the other one. This is the TRX wheel. It's still pretty, pretty much a lot of rubber over the wheel as far as protection goes. So that's an 8 inch versus a 9 inch. And wheel width. Here's back to back. It's virtually to the eye, I would say no difference. I know they say uh, this is a E rated um, <clears throat> Dura track, and it says maximum recommended wheel width. Eight and a half. Well, this is a nine inch wheel. I didn't see no issues with that. So, we're moving on. All right. So, back in the day when I was doing these, uh, swapping out the wheels on the TRX before, I had broke one of the valve stems. So, Muzzies, here's the part number. Uh, I got it off of uh, Amazon. So, I got four new ones. I only need one because my, uh, my other ones are good. So, Moving on. Not like pretty much with all the tires I've done lately, I use this bubble balancer. And that bubble's right in the middle. It's hard to see it in here, but it is. All right, they're all mounted. I'm gonna pull it outside to get a better look at it. So yeah, other than uh, putting some tire black on these tires, it's pretty good. It's gonna go look way better once the uh, spacers are on it. Alright, 
also uh, everything's good with the tire sensors. Um, so that's good there. So I'm pretty happy with the way this thing looks. Here again, we got it inside. I don't know if the lighting outside is bad or what, but much better. Probably uh, maybe do something with the chrome lug nuts, but uh, other than that, that's the look I was going for. So for me, it wasn't not a big deal to do it because I had these wheels sitting on the shelf from my last truck, or the blue TRX I had. I put those beadlock wheels on it, and uh, I just kept these on the shelf. So it ended up working out for me now. So like I said, once the wheel spacers are on this thing, I think it's going to look perfect. Um, and then I can leave it at that. Uh, I was going to do some red-faced speedometer and tachometer, but... They sent me ones for a diesel, so I had to send them back to send me the right ones for gas. So I'll do that, and then I got a couple trim pieces for the inside. Um, i not sure what uh, else I was going to do with this right now, but for now, that's all I got. So please like and subscribe, and we will catch you on the next one.